drive to right. Hits a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Hurry! What's happening? Ray Woodson here, getting ready for the start of baseball season. We're getting ready to do a ton of post-game shows on Sports Phone 680. Spring training, what's the main goal for every major league team? Get out and get into the regular season unscathed. It's not happening for the Giants. Will Smith, elbow injury, may need surgery. His season may be done. They have Michael Morse, who is making a serious bid for a backup outfield spot, hamstring injury. It's a question as to whether he will go down and rehab and give it another crack later on in the season. Eduardo Nunez, he's got a shoulder problem. Mac Williamson with a quad problem. So this is not exactly what the Giants were looking for, especially with Will Smith. That blows a big hole in the bullpen. Of course, they acquired him last summer. Big trade, Andrew Susak and Bickford, uh, the minor league prospect, going to the Brewers. Smith is a lefty who can get both lefties and righties out, so he was going to perform a valuable role in the seventh and eighth innings for the Giants. So who takes over that spot? Steven Okert has had a very good spring for the Giants. He'll probably be the first up. Josh Osich, not such a good spring, but he also will be called upon, and you can look for Ty Block. Uh, to take up some of those innings as well. Although for Black, the equation gets a little complicated because he could be a number five starter if Matt Cain doesn't pan out at the start of the season. And Matt Cain has not had an impressive spring. So that's certainly possible after, say, four or five starts a month of the season. And you could definitely see Block making a start against the Dodgers as tough as he was on them at the end of last season. The other part of this is Tyler Beatty's clock gets speeded up, perhaps, as a number five starter, potentially down the road in a couple of months. And uh, for the other positions, the other injuries, well, Christian Arroyo's ears have to perk up a little bit. If Eduardo Nunez can't go, yeah, Connor Gillespie is there. Kelby Tomlinson has a role here as well that uh, gets a little more valuable, especially with injuries in both the outfield and the infield. And then you look at Jay Gyeong Hwang, who has been made, making good uh, progress in spring and has not looked overwhelmed and has fit in very well. So it gets a little complicated. The Giants do have some depth, some better depth this year than they had last year, but there are still questions. There may be answers down the road, but they remain questions going into the regular season. The story has yet to be written.